Hello, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Say, it's been a while. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. And to my re regular subbies, I missed you all. Um, you know, I've been missing in action. I uh, had gallbladder surgery last week and I'm sitting here with an ice pack on my stomach and um, I also tore my rotator cuff and biceps tendon, so I have a um, brace on my shoulder, but I have some peppermint tea that I um, put in the fridge this morning, and um, I'm going to sip on that, and I'm just going to um, try to shoot a short video today just to get back in the swing of things. Um, I'm just moving very slowly, and... Um, I can't lift or anything like that for six more weeks. Um, my liver was attached to my gallbladder, and so um, they had to do some manooking around there, so I'm quite tender yet. So, without further ado, I thought we could make some adorable little book plate tags. Now, um, the idea for these came from... The fact that my sister came to care for me last week when I was in surgery, and she's from Texas, and my brother-in-law set these papers with her to cheer me up. Uh, I don't even know what they are, if they're rice paper. I know they're homemade, but I decided to um, take some, uh, I just saw a label here, it just says lace cream rainfall. I don't know what that means. Anyway, so I cut some up. I, I took this one. It, it's really fun. I added some uh, for something that's coming. Oh, excuse me. I apologize. Right off the bat, I dropped something, and I can't pick things up very quickly. Um, it takes... I want to show you this watercolor. It's really fun. Um, so this is my little paint palette that I got. It's um, a lot of fun. Oops. These guys jumped out. Oh, this is the one that just dropped. Well, I hope I put everything in the right order. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, that looks just fine, doesn't it? All right, so this is the paint palette set. Set of 12 watercolors. I can't say the name. Okay, but anyway, I wanted to show you how cool this paper is um, with the paint that I'm using this on a different project. But, um, using my water brush here but it really looks cool okay so I'm using it on a, a project that we'll do maybe tomorrow See, I got strips here so anyway I wanted to play with the paints and um, just to get my feet wet again it's been a while you know that but it just is um, so lovely on these papers, especially when it dries. Oops. I don't want to mix up my colors here. But you have this little palette here, and you can mix some colors. And A painter I'll never be, but it's fun nevertheless. So anyway, I like the look on the on these papers. Okay, so we'll we'll do something with this maybe tomorrow. So let me get this off the desk. All right, so for today, you will need some of those scraps. This is all. Um, I I kept them neutral. So I'm just using some of. Uh, packaging paper from Amazon. Um, some of the torn, I just torn a strip off of this paper. And what else do I have? 
Oh, and some book pages and some older book pages. And some copy dyes. So everything's neutral. And, um, oh, this is just a copy filter and I had it moved playing around, made an envelope. So this is how they look. I have some different labels. I printed some on, um, what do you call it, paper, graph paper, and some just on some tissue paper. And then I found these little butterflies. What do you think? Is that too much, or is that okay for a little color? We'll see. So we have these, and um, yeah. So I just started with um, tearing up some of this, piece of this for my base. And uh, I have some some of this paper here. I I wanted some um, I guess a little bit of um, background paper neutral behind it so to give it some bulk and some words. And then I was going to put some of this on here. And it, I think it tears. Oh yeah, because it's kind of big. That was kind of a big piece. So that could go here. And then for my words, I had printed, um, like I said, some on a tissue paper and some tissue paper that I uh, printed first on graph paper, and then I printed some words, and then I inked them. I cut a, some of them out here, so we can pull something out. This says, uh, I don't know what it says. <laughs> Dance in the rain. That's perfect for today because it's raining here in the desert. So that's all I'm going to do. Now you can ink them up. You can ink your pieces. Maybe I need a different... I think this pad is seen better days. So let's put that one over there and let's grab another one. Whoa, oh, I want to apologize. I'm so sorry. It's been such a time since I've been here. How's everyone doing? I've been watching videos, but usually what happens is I take a pain pill and I fall asleep. So then I wake up and you're rattling on and then I have to go rewatch it. And if I'm watching on TV, I can't comment because I don't have, I don't know how to do that. So know that I've been watching you all. Maybe I want to put this down and do it a proper way. I know it does pick up the color a little bit. And you don't have to ink. But these are just cute on a um, on a page, you know? Or on a journal cover, or in a card, or in a pocket. They're just fun. And you can do them any size, any words. I was putting the eyelid in there just for fun. Nice and sturdy, and then I just was storing them in something like this for now. So, we just got some layers going. We got some glue, or you probably could staple, or you could sew. Gosh, I missed you all. I thought I'm never going to get back here in the craft room because it's been so long, but really I, I was hurting too much to come online. I didn't think it would hurt. I heard some people that in my support group and they said, no, it's a piece of cake. You wake up after the anesthetic wears off, you'll be fine. Well, I wasn't fine. Oh my goodness. I thought I was having a baby. It hurt so bad. 
I don't know. Maybe I want something different. Wistful. Conversations. Let's put this one on here. And I am going to put a butterfly on because I think they just need just a little bit of color. Hmm, it's got a little stick on there. I don't know why. Maybe because of that paper. We'll just put a little butterfly. Let's put a, a yellow one on. I was playing with butterflies last night, trying to come up with something for butterflies. And then I just took my, I hope I can do this. If I can't, I'll just do them another time. But we're going to punch a hole. And we will find an island. And again, that's just for um, some char character, or you could put you can put a ball pin in here with uh, some buttons or something. There you go, my friends. Very simple, but very cute. I think they're cute. All right. So, we'll get another piece. Yeah. Mm, I had to take my husband to an appointment this morning, but I had to have a, a driver, a friend drive us because um, it was at the VA and it's it's a hard walk when you're feeling good. And I knew I couldn't do it with him. So, yeah, so my friend was gracious to come over and escort us. Let's try a piece of this old, old music paper. Here's like butter. So I'm interested to see what everyone's been up to and where you all going with your projects. It's actually spring here in the desert. I can't believe it. The birds are all out. It's been 70 degrees. It's quite lovely. I just want to make some layers. No, I don't want to use I don't want to use staples. So do you know when you go when you have surgery now, like they didn't put they didn't stitch the outside of my belly. They just put I don't know some kind of super glue or something. So like you sneeze and stuff, and it just like feels like you're ripping your stomach. Let me tell you a story. Oh yes, I like that one. Oh, here comes the rain again. Yeah, at least I'll have to see how this stuff sticks on here. And we have a orange butterfly. Yeah, I was looking for little. I have tags and stuff and numbers. Oh dear, it's hailing. It never hails in the desert. What is going on? I was going to try to go over to a Bible study at church this afternoon, but I think I'm just going to go sit in my couch on my recliner and take a nap. Going to the VA this morning wore me out. So, yeah, no lifting or picking up my puppy or groceries and stuff for six more weeks, but that's okay. I can hang tight. 
Does that mean I don't have to clean my craft room? I think that's exactly what that means. So, there you go. Some simple, simple book plates. And I know you'll all come up with ideas for these. But I wanted to use some of my pretty paper and just show you what you can do. I'm going to add butterflies to these. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I hope to be back tomorrow to do the um, my little bunny bunny cluster cards. Those are cute. I just thought I'm gonna just start slow, and I'll show you them in a minute. So they don't all have butterflies. They have butterflies. Do I have three more? I do. Oh, we're getting dark. Let me see if I could pop a light on real quick. Okay. There. And, um... Yeah, it's going to be a slow go, but I'll be back, my friends, because I do miss you all. I miss um, just the back and forth with everybody. This is, says, enjoy the journey. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Enjoy the journey. This is victory. Know the truth. Conversations. Let your light shine. Let me tell you a story. Love you more than words can say. So there you have it, my friends. I hope you play along. I hope you um, find some goodies on your desk that you can play with. And tomorrow I will come back, hopefully. You have a good night. And we're going to make some little, um, these are like, three three inch cards they're so cute and I got a little word in there and a little splatter and one of our little paint things because I wanted to paint and then I made a little envelope out of um, a nursery rhyme book that I found the tale of the pigling blend and, um, yeah, so that's just a one piece of paper. I fold it up, and then we'll put these little cards in them. Okay? So come back tomorrow, and I also was playing with, okay, you know I like little houses, and that I made a bunch of little houses from uh, Patricia Papers. If I said that right. Let me get this out of here. And she's... Uh, in March, she gave us a freebie. In April, she gave, no, February, she gave us a freebie. This was February, and it's called the Bluebird. Um, I have some gold leaf pen up here. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, she gave these little kits. Look it. It's got three little signatures in it. And the instructions and all are, are there. And this is on her Facebook group. So she has this one, and now I got some more, but she has another set online that I'm going to purchase. And I think it's five more books, and then I'm going to have like a little book collection. But aren't these darling? They're sealed inside. The way she's got it, the cover's one piece that folds over, and so your stitches are all inside. But you don't see them. It's very fun. Very fun. I just put this little hair bow here, hair tie. But, uh, yeah, so I'll leave her link, Pat Patriska Papers. And uh, go to her Facebook group, join, and you can get her freebies. And then you can go to her shop and purchase some other kits. So that's all I have, my friends. Thank you so much for stopping by. And like I said, I appreciate all your well wishes. 
and um, I'm just happy to be here again. Bye.